I'm Tom Wolf, and I just want to say that, that I just shortly, uh, a short time ago, declared a state of emergency for Pennsylvania to ensure that state agencies can respond with resources for counties to use to help their communities and residents as quickly as possible. I think you know how this works. A state of emergency actually allows money to flow more quickly in case we, we need it. Uh, Pima, Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency, along with all of the state agencies that are here, and you'll hear from a lot of them, among many others, are going to be monitoring conditions across the state, communicating with their counterparts at the county level, and collaborating with all safety and emergency uh, uh, response units to make sure that what we're doing is as efficient and effective as possible. We were just briefed upstairs by Director Flynn uh, on the weather uh, forecast, and that this weather continues to do uh, will continue to change. Uh, but I also spoke earlier with uh, PICO, the head of PICO in Philadelphia, to make sure that the utilities are doing everything they can do uh, to make sure that we're, we're safe. So I'm urging, I'm urging uh, all Pennsylvanians, uh, this is winter, this is the way this works, I'm urging all Pennsylvanians to pay close attention to the weather forecasts uh, and to take steps to be ready for what might be the first big snowstorm of 2016. Pennsylvania's, you know, we all know we cannot control the weather, but we can all be prepared for whatever the weather brings us. And we should prioritize our safety. Uh, and I urge all residents to heed all warnings uh, and uh, alerts from emergency management officials and, and law enforcement officials. Your safety, the safety of all Pennsylvanians, is my top priority and the top priority of everybody here. Uh, so we're asking everyone to remain calm, just follow whatever uh, advice and common sense steps that we're all going to outline here today. Just be safe. Uh, we want you to be safe and we want your relatives and your families to be safe. If you can, take the time to look after your neighbors and your family. Make sure that elderly family members, elderly neighbors, they have everything they need. They have all the food they need, that they're warm, uh, and that they're all ready uh, to go through whatever this weather gives us.